Welcome to the quadratic formula. Ooh, 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 ooh. Take out some notes. Um, so you can write down and follow along, like I say, every single week. I love the quadratic formula. I'm going to teach you a little song. We're going to do some examples. It's going to be great. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This formula helps us solve for quadratics that cannot be solved by factoring. Um, so you can solve any quadratic in the world using this formula. And the formula is so important that memorizing it is important, so I'm going to teach you a song. Ready? Due to A hang low under negative B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC. If you practice the quadratic, you will know it automatic. Due to A hang low. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave in the in the description where I got this video from. I mean where I got this song from. But you know, sometimes if I'm in the right class, you know, I can drop a little beat. We make a little more hood. You know what I'm saying? Let's try again. Due to A hang low under negative B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC. If you practice that quadratic, you will know it automatic. Due to A hang low. Now you gotta drop a beat. Uh, uh, uh. Due to A hang low under negative B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC. If you practice that quadratic, you will know it automatic. Due to A hang low. My students are way better at doing that than I am, but that's the song. Learn it, memorize it, love it. Do to A, hang low under negative B. Plus or minus square root, B square minus 4AC. If you practice that quadratic, you will know it automatic. Do to A, hang low. Okay. Um, I know, I, I keep forgetting that little, little part at the end. Um, do, 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 Oh, example number one. So we have to decide what A, B, and C are so that we can plug them into the formula. I color-coded everything beautifully, might I add, okay? So A's are blues, B's are pinks, C's are purple. Um, so we're gonna decide first, A is two, B is negative 16, and C is negative 27. Does everybody see where I got those numbers from? So where those numbers are, in the formula, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to plug them in. So you're gonna use, instead of the letter B, I'm gonna put parentheses and the number uh, negative 16. Instead of A, I'm gonna put parentheses and the number two. Instead of C, I'm gonna put parentheses and put 27. So notice that the negative in front of the B stays there and the negative 16 still comes inside the parentheses. So I have two negatives right now. Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so 16 squared, negative 16 squared, excuse me, minus 4, that was in the formula, that's why it's black, parentheses 2, parentheses 27, all over 2 times a, which in this case is 2 times 2. You're like, woof, but you just plug stuff in, you ain't really, it's a lot on the screen, but you didn't do nothing, that wasn't math, that was just matching. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to uh, simplify, so I always tell my students to do the negative negative first. Um, so that's going to turn into a positive 16 plus or minus the square root of uh, 16 squared, which is 256. And then you're going to do negative 4 times 2 times 27. So you see that black negative 4 and that blue 2. So negative 4 times that blue 2 times uh, 27 is going to give you negative 216. So 256 minus 216 all over 2 times 2 is 4, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and do x equals, the 16 still stays there, plus or minus, this, and we're gonna do 256 minus 216, and that's gonna give me 40. Um, and then, so now we have uh, over four. You are going to, um, I see how I did this first. <laughs> what did I do here? It's the same thing. Why did that? Okay, so we're, I guess we're gonna we're gonna separate the 16 over 4 and then the plus or minus. Um, so it's gonna look like this. Yay! 
Um, so 16 over 4 equals 4. And then don't, don't divide 40 by 4. Simplify the square root of 40 first. So 2 uh, square root of 10 over... 4, and then I can simplify the 2 over 4. This is the most complicated way to solve the quadratic formula. Um, I'm mad I even did this example first now that I think about it, <laughs> but it's fine. So 2 over 4, the purple 2 and then the blue 4 simplifies to 1 half. I don't really need to put that 1 in front of the square root of 10, so we're just going to leave it at square root of 10. And that's your final answer. That's the most simplified version. So I could put that 1 there, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to get it out of there because that's baby stuff, okay? Um, that's the most complicated it gets when simplifying the quadratic formula because you, you have to simplify what's inside the radical. You have to split it up. It was a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I might rearrange this and it not be the first example. Okay. Uh, X squared plus 3X minus 7. Uh you need to decide A, A is, what B is, and what C is. There's no A value here, so what is A? It's a one, good job. Um, and then B is obviously three, and then C is negative seven. I should have uh, made the negative purple also, but you get it, you get it. So now we're going to um, plug them in. Again, plugging in is just matching, right? So instead of the letter, you're gonna use parentheses, and inside the parentheses will be the number. So negative three, in this case, the three was positive from the problem, so it's gonna be positive inside the parentheses, unlike the last problem. Um, and then I'm gonna say three squared, because b squared minus four times one times negative seven over two times one, which is gonna be two in a minute. Uh, we're going to do the negative three first, so we can get rid of those parentheses, plus or minus, the square root of um, 9 plus 28. So 3 squared is 9, and uh, negative 4, the black negative 4, times 1 times negative 7 equals a positive 28. So now I change that sign in between, that's in front of the 4, to be a plus instead of a minus. So 9 plus 28 over 2. So 9 plus 28 is gonna go ahead and give us 37 <laughs> over two. And um, that's actually gonna be my final answer. See, that last problem, the other examples might be a little bit more complicated, but this one is pretty straightforward because I don't have to simplify what's inside the radical. I don't have to simplify anything outside. This is just, it's, that's my answer. That's it, that's it. Okay, um, next one. Slide 15 of uh, 29. Uh, same thing, decide what A is, decide what B is, decide what C is. So A is gonna be obviously four, B is gonna be three, and C is gonna be two. Um, so I was like, I got lost for a second. Okay, so negative three plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is three squared minus four. That four is from the, the formula. The black four is from the formula. The blue four is from the problem. Pay attention. And then you're gonna do the two. Um, the purple two, that's my c value, all over two times four. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I can get rid of the parentheses in front of the three plus or minus the square root of nine minus 32, because four times four is 16, times two is 32, and it's negative. Negative four times positive four times negative two is negative 32, so that's where that sign comes from. All over eight. Um, plus or minus the square root of negative 23 over eight. Now, the, my problem with this specific example is the fact that under the radical, I have a negative, and we don't like negatives under the radical, so I'm gonna have to um, simplify that. And we know that under the radical, if I have a negative 23, that means that's negative one times positive 23. And the square root of negative one is actually gonna go ahead and be what? What's the square root of negative one, y'all? You should know. I, and then the 23 is under there positive um, over eight. That's it, that's it. It's that easy, it's not that hard. Okay, uh, next example. Um, we gotta decide what A is, what B is, what C is. 
So I colored everything for you because I'm good like that. Slide 21 out of 29, by the way. Um, so A equals 3, B equals negative 1, and C equals 8. Um, negative B, so the negative comes from the formula. Inside parentheses is the B that I found from the problem. So in that case, negative 1. Uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times 8 over 6, or 2 times 3, excuse me, I'm ahead of myself. <laughs> um, so now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead um, and do 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus. 96 because negative 1 squared is positive 1 and then negative 4 times 3 times 8 gives me a negative 96 So that's why it's 1 minus because minus and negative are the same remember um, over 6 So I'm gonna simplify 1 minus 96 and that's gonna give me negative 95 So what's wrong with this problem like what's wrong with that negative 95 under the radical? No negatives under the radical. So how do I simplify it? How do I simplify that negative under the radical? That's the question. We got to get rid of it. Um, you're going to take out an I. It's going to be I-95. Um, if you live on the East Coast, you know what's up. I-95. Hey. Uh, and so that's solving uh, using the quadratic formula in a nutshell. Um, just remember the complicated part becomes when you're simplifying the radicals. That's what it is. Pay attention. Pay attention. So we're going to talk about the discriminant. So the discriminant of a quadratic is the number that's under the radical. So it's just the b squared minus 4ac. Um, b squared minus 4ac. Um, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, if it is equal to 0, or if it is less than 0, it means certain things. So if it's greater than 0, there's two solutions, zero, two real solutions, excuse me, and zero imaginary solutions. If it is equal to 0, there's one real solution and zero imaginary solutions. And if uh, it is less than 0, then it is zero real solutions, two imaginary solutions. Okay? So that means uh, if it's greater than 0, it touches the graph twice on the x-axis. If it is equal to zero, it touches the graph once on the x-axis. And if it is less than zero, it never touches the graph on the x-axis. Okay. Uh, okay, so what is the discriminant here? You're just doing b squared minus 4ac. Don't plug into the whole quadratic formula. You're doing too much work. Just plug into b squared minus 4ac. So we're just going to do negative 16 squared minus 4 times 2 times 27. The answer is 40. Is 40 greater than 0, equal to 0, or less than 0? 40 is greater than 0. So there's going to be two real solutions and zero imaginary solutions. Boom. That's the answer. 40 is the first part of the answer. The second part of the answer is two real solutions, zero imaginary solutions. Okay. Um, slide 27 out of 29, just so you know where we are. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, 3 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 7 times negative 7. I cannot talk. The answer is 37. So again, you're just finding the number that is b squared minus 4ac. What is that number equal to? It's equal to 37. Is that greater than 0, equal to 0, or less than 0? Greater than 0. So that means it has two real solutions, zero imaginary solutions. Uh, this problem is 3 squared minus 4 times 4 times 2. So when I figure that out, the discriminant equals negative 23. That's the first part of my answer, right? Now I have to describe the solutions. So I have to decide, is this greater than 0, less than 0, or equal to 0? It's less than 0. So when it's less than 0, I have 0 real solutions, 2 imaginary solutions. And then... Uh, last but not least, when I do this one, I have negative 1 parentheses squared minus 4 times 3 times 8. My discriminant is going to be 90, negative 95, and that's less than 0, so there's 0 real solutions to imaginary solutions. Bada bing, bada boom. That is the quadratic formula and discriminants in a nutshell. A really, really quick nutshell. But you got this. Go back through, do the examples on your own. See if you get them right without my help. That's the whole script every single time. And listen, if not, if you don't decide to do that, guess what? 
I'll see you in the next one.